Yeah, well, let's bring in, we're going to bring in David Bonson, uh, managing partner and chief investment officer uh, at the Bonson Group, and Ian Shepardson, who uh, can tell us something about the, the prospects for the second and third quarter, founder and chief U.S. economist uh, at Pantheon Macroeconomics. David, I'll just, we'll get to Ian and say, David, with you, you figure there's some risk in, in, the, uh, in the bond market right now, and I think eventually you, you've got some equity positions earmarked, but you're not ready yet. Uh, you, you, you'd go very slow and, and just watch the, the actual pandemic play out because the market's just going to be too volatile at this point? Yeah, when we talk about risk in the bond market, we're just talking about the liquidity reality that there's a ton of people needing to raise money. It's a leveraged financial system, and the bonds are where they're having to go to raise cash. And so you're getting really wide spreads and I think prices that don't reflect anything close to reality. So that bond market distress is what you would expect when there's a kind of run on assets and therefore it's trickling all the way through. You see utilities down the same that the S&P is down. REITs are down even more. Um, gold, a lot of people are asking why is gold not, you know, performing through this? It's all the same reason. It's just simply people selling what they have to sell. That issue works itself out through time. And then you have to deal with the fundamentals of the pandemic to know how far that goes. Right. But we do intend to deploy cash into equities, but we want to average it in after we get normalization in the bond market.